Today, we're going to talk about why most minerals never get absorbed in your body. And for years and years and years, I have taken vitamins and minerals. And today, we're going to talk about minerals. So minerals are like little agents of action. So that, that's what I call a, a, a mineral. Uh, we'll call them, they're like secret agents, agents of action. Some people will uh, call them spark plugs, right? So imagine your car. If you're looking at your car, in order for anything to happen, it needs, to, and of course, unless you're driving a Tesla, but that's a whole other issue. I'm from an, another era. You need a spark plug to light the fuel mix on fire. And in order to light the energy metabolism inside your body, you need these little minerals. You also, we talked about in the last lesson, we talked about how minerals also tend to buffer some of the acids, some of the big minerals. But you have minerals that are acid forming too, and they're important. But here's the thing. If you're doing regular, so pretty much everybody knows the benefits of vitamins and minerals, right? And why you need minerals. There's thousands of operations inside the body that requires minerals. But here's the thing. Most mineral supplements are simply ground up rocks. Now, here's the thing. Unfortunately, humans can't absorb rocks. Maybe Fred Flintstone could in the comedies, but we can't. So what happens is we need to generally get our minerals from where? Plants. Because, now why is that? Here's the thing. Minerals that are ground up rocks, so if you go to your local drugstore, for example, most of them will be selling vitamin and mineral tablets. They'll sell mineral tablets of various things like this. What are they? They're ground up rocks. That's all they are. It's gravel in a, in, in a bottle. Now, here's the thing. These are called inorganic. Okay, so the problem with inorganic minerals is that that's what they are. You can absorb them. Now, a plant, what a plant does is plants release a thing called humic and fulvic acids. Now, guess what? What they do, so a plant goes, and get this, this is how a plant works. It gets sunshine, it gets light down here. This is coming from the sun, and it converts that into energy, okay? It's using chlorophyll. And then what it does, it has these roots that go down into the ground. And these roots release this type of acid that turns inorganic rocks into usable organic minerals. This is very, very important because now what happens is this is the living, this is the dead, okay? So what happens is when you consume a plant, you're able to get the minerals. Also, if you consume an animal, so it's people that eat meat, for example, if that, say, cow, that cow ate grass that had high mineral-rich grass, the beef is actually going to be different. It's going to have a different mineral content. It's also going to have a different content of a lot of other things as well. So if you are eating food, like uh, meat, if you're eating animals, you want to make sure they're either wild game or that they're grass-fed and that they're naturally housed. All of the chemical, you know, chemicalized animals, the, you know, the, the franken chickens and the, the cows with all the drugs, and you want to avoid all that stuff. That stuff is bad. There's all sorts of stuff inside of it. You want to have naturally raised products. But the best way to get your, your minerals is to consume plants or you can go to the next level because here's the thing wherever you live inside the world if you're from Europe or you're in North America you're eating plants generally from that native area and the thing is is it only has a certain amount of minerals it, unfortunately because of farming practices over the last you know, 100 years, and particularly the last 50 with monocultures and that type of thing with the industrial production or the industrialization of farming, we're able to produce more food, we're able to make more plants, more volume, but these plants have less minerals because we're literally draining the soil from minerals. So that's kind of why people are getting into biodynamic farming and super organic farming and all these type of 
ways to recondition the soil so that the plants that we eat. But the reality is, is this stuff becomes really, really expensive. So what do you do? Well, what we've suggested, we've, we've looked at this, is how do you create a simple, fast, effective way to optimize your absorption of minerals? And that is to put your minerals and vitamins inside a humic and fulvic acid liquid. Now, by putting this in a liquid and adding the vitamins and minerals from organic sources inside this liquid, it now, when it goes into your digestive system, it's absorbed super rapidly. So, for example, with our little mineral formulation here, I just take a few drops, just like that. Or I can add it to my water. It actually tastes a little bit in the water. You'll feel a little bit acidic on that of fulvic acid. But boom, it goes right into the system and I absorb all of it. So what do you get? So when you're looking for minerals, if you're buying a mineral supplement, you want to have from a whole food and you want to have it in presence of fulvic acid because fulvic acid is the delivery system that delivers this product into your cell. That's how it goes inside your system. So if we look at, let me just uh, get my, if you look right in here, well, I'll just erase this out real quick. If you look at your cell, just like these plants, to deliver more product into the cell, right? Here's your alkaline cell. Hopefully it's in great condition. And then you have fulvic acid that serves as the little truck. <laughs> this is a truck, by the way. I know it's a horrible truck, but it's like the truck that trucks those minerals right into the cell. So that when you get like delivered, it's like Amazon. Okay, like now you just order stuff online and like bang, it's at your door like the next day. You know, one time it didn't work that way, but now this is like adding like Amazon to your system. It's like, boom, you just like order and it goes inside the system like no problem. The other thing is, is um, I will say in this, when you're looking at plant-based foods, one of the reasons why we use uh, hemp protein in our, our protein products is because it has both calcium and silica and magnesium. Silica particularly, silica and magnesium can make calcium. So when you have high silica in your diet, which is something that's essential to um, farming, this allows you to combine it. And there's a great study out there where it showed these chickens that they were pecking on the ground and they were able to make four times more calcium than they were consuming because they had enough silica and magnesium. And of course, fulvic acid is something that's going to accelerate that. So to review very quickly, fulvic acid takes or inorganic minerals and converts them into organic. That's why you want to get your minerals from whole foods or plants or Ideally, you want to have your, your minerals inside a liquid fulvic acid base because that's going to serve a truck to truck in there. And what happens? You get more minerals for less cost, and that is the way you biologically optimize your diet. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. We'll see you on the next one, which is coming right up.